Uh, welcome. This is our 50th English Fluency Club, and we're very happy to see you all today, both from Mexico and coming to us from Bangladesh. So our guest today is Lucy Hutchinson. Well, I have another question. That is yes. interesting. I, 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 it's new for me, all of those experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, how did you get interested in artificial intelligence? Uh, another excellent question. Um, okay. To make a long story short, let me see if I can make this long story short. Um, what I do is I blend traditional methods with innovative approaches to to create learning experiences that really bring joy and growth to what we're doing. And so with AI, I believe that we are, we have the enormous opportunity to take what we know doesn't work about education from 50 years ago, where people, you know, factory workers, we want everybody to learn the exact same thing at the exact same time in the exact same way and anybody that falls behind, sorry for you. Anybody that wants to move forward, sorry for you. Everybody together, learn it this way. I am the teacher, you do what I say. And AI really helps us to individualize the process. So differentiation. I've got a student who is struggling with the basic vocabulary. I can ask AI to, to take the story that all of us are learning, but summarize it for this student who's at this level. Mm -hmm. And I've got a student that's more advanced. So I've got a workbook or I've got something that the school has given me that I have to do for my, with my students, but I've got students that are ready to do something more. I think, well, I don't want to get up on my, my and, and preach, but I, the, one of the biggest problems that I saw and, and I've seen in classrooms all over the world is early finishers. And what do the early finishers, the ones that finish their work, what do they have to do? They have to sit there quietly and wait. Yeah, or cause problems. Yes, and if we don't give them something to do that's productive, they're going to do something that's not productive. And then they're the problem. Or is it us that could have used it? So now AI can help us come up with a list of things that the early finishers can do. Mm -hmm. And the, the possibilities are endless. So, I, I mean, and it doesn't mean that they have to use technology. I can use it as a teacher, as a, a thought partner. Give me a list of 30 things my early finishers can do. They can, in their notebook, they can make a mini flyer about the topic that we then put in the front of the classroom. They can help a neighbor. They can organize the bookshelf, the classroom bookshelf. They can do all of these different things so that it's productive and not a waste of time. Because who wants to sit there silently? 